Hello. Well, if this isn't the most ADHD ridden thing I've done, but I had a very fleeting thought. I was sat there, you know, just ordering myself some food, and I thought to myself, you know what, man? Like, I really want some milk. And so, that has led me on the journey into a quest of going. of going into neutral and that has led me on to the journey that we are on right now boys and girls to go and get some milk yeah oh cut that corner oh yeah now i'm not sure if you can hear this with my microphone there's a really weird tapping sound coming from from the engine and i don't like it i really don't like it it's a really weird ticking sound, but thankfully tomorrow we're going in for the first service on the bike tomorrow. It is done 700 and something mile right now, so you know it's a bit overdue to be honest with you. But that being said, I am excited to go and have this looked at because there are some things it needs to have looked at. Um, like the, the issue with it tracking to the right, if I go like that, look, it, it wants to go to the right, so something that isn't aligned there. So I don't know what it is, but I keep getting this weird sensation from the front of the bike uh, on braking like I did with the Super Duke where the headstock bearings were loose so hopefully they'll be able to take a look at that because I don't want this again um, but that ticking noise again I'm not not sure if you can not sure if you can hear that it, it doesn't sound right to be honest with you um, but tonight is an absolutely stonker of a night it is beautiful it's not too cold you know we're on the latter end of April as I'm filming this so I do have to be careful because I've got two big glass bottles in my back <laughs> in my bag and not on my backpack so I do have to be a little bit careful I also thought it'd be a good test for this oh look at that fucking sunset I thought it'd be a great test for this uh, for the new camera as well because I've, I've gone and changed some settings on it I'm not too happy with this camera at the minute to be honest with you because the field of view is a lot more narrow than a GoPro or the GoPro that, you used, that I'm used to, the Hero 7 there's, a really an, there's an annoying feature where basically um, if you change the, F, the frame rate to 60 FPS which is what I usually go for, nice and smooth, I hate 30 frames a second I don't know why people would use it but for 60 FPS uh, it crops in the footage and it's very annoying so you don't get a very good super view now this is 30 frames a second on 4K so I'm just going to try that and see if, it, see if that works Oh, oh, oh. oh fuck. Now I'm gonna have to go the long way boys because they've completely uh they've shut that off now and it's a bit narrow for me that. Oh well we'll have to go the long way. If it makes it for a longer video, that's fine. What the hell is that over there? What the fuck are they doing in there? Hmm? Weird. What is going on? That's a weird barge, isn't it? Cool. <laughs> Wee I love this corner and I really, really am really enjoying this bike, you know. But when this thing wants to go, you rev this thing up and oh my lord, first of all the sound, the sound is, I can't explain the sound, it is intoxicating, it's just, oh, tell me a bike that sounds better than that, except from the V4, I mean even now, I listen to a V4, I'm sorry but this is, uh, this sounds better to me, and I can't wait to get a pipe on it because it's just going to open that sound up even more, I just, I, I can't rave about this bike enough, it is just filling all the holes in my anus. The only thing that you guys are aware of that I don't like about this is is the brakes. And so I'm going to have to basically look at getting some more calipers, some different calipers, and there are no braided brake lines made by Hell or anything, which is which is a shame. They actually asked me, you know, Hell, the company, they asked me if I could take my braided lines, uh, my lines off, and send them over to them, and they give me a set of free braided hoses and 25% off anything else at calipers and stuff. But uh, I just, I cannot. I just. I need the bike, I can't, I can't have it, you know, without it for a, for a while. And I'm not sure how long it would actually take to sort all that crap out, to be honest with you. I really don't know, I'm not experienced with brakes, um, to be honest with you. Oh my god, there's bikers here, what the fuck? What's going on here? What's going on here, hello? Hello, dude. You alright? What's going on here? Little bike meet? <laughs> Sick, what the fuck? Oh, any of you sick? 
Slag him off online, yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm a Leeds fan, so there you go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> what flavours have we got? I swear I wasn't a litre. <laughs> Keep off. Is it something to run out? Please present your card or your mobile authorizing. Do you want to whack half of yours in there? Because that's just going to fill over that. Is that alright? Yeah, just yeah. give you a bit more. Sure, yeah, it's fine because I think uh, this is going to thing you so much. Do it quick. So it going to waste. Yeah. Fuck. Alright. It's alright, mate. Any of your football fans? It's oh, all I, I saw the bench on the box. Yeah, I, I, I saw the back wall and I was like. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I was like, you what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, sat there as a Liverpool fan looking at the last bastard. Yeah, I know, yeah. I'm a Leeds fan, so I'm there like, right, join yeah, us, yeah. you fucker. <laughs> so you hate me after a deal of that. Fucking funny, mate. I just, I just shut it off. I couldn't watch it. <laughs> we're doing, we're not doing well. <laughs> not, not a good season, but it's not been a good season for a lot of clubs, to be honest with you. It's nice to see you back in. Big time. Yeah, until you know a few weeks and we'll, we'll get fucking sent down again. But I. Oh, stop, you what? Yeah, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I wasn't fucking there a minute ago. <laughs> right, folks, enjoy. See you later. Ta ra. Right. I ended up giving them some milk. <laughs> He's a Liverpool fan and I'm a, and I'm a Leeds fan. So, uh, <laughs> we had to talk about football because. This place has been made famous now by one Erling Haaland from Manchester City who should be playing for Leeds United like his dad um, but now he's a traitorous bastard so if you ever see him here I'll make sure to tell him uh, He was actually sat on that bench over there if I go and have a go and have a gander Yeah, so Erling Haaland was sat on that bench there The traitorous bastard uh, <laughs> I've got me milk now I couldn't record that whole thing because I forgot that. Well, I don't know if the uh, when the microphone's taken out of this thing if it records the sound, but it's like there was a little bank meet going on as well. You know the little uh, the youth, the youths. I've not even done my fucking lid up, you know. What an absolute dickhead. Oh no, I've done my lid up. What the fuck am I doing? Jesus Christ. Anyway, that place has literally been there. Uh, oh Jesus Christ, has been put on the map by the fact that. That Erling Haaland decided to go there because he plays for Manchester City and I work kind of near Manchester. It's a bit weird because I thought he would have gone somewhere nearer to to, to Scumville, but uh, apparently not. But to be fair, this is Cheshire and a lot of uh, well, there's a lot of football knobheads that live around here anyway. So Ryan Giggs used to live down um, down near me at one point. But quite a few people actually. Ian Brown from the Stone Roses used to go in and. Uh, well, I used to walk past him all the time and it's dead funny because he grew a big old beard. He used to walk around in like scummy trackies so that no one would recognise him. But every time I walk past him, I'll give him a little wink and say, hey up mate, I know who you fucking are, but I'm going to leave you to it because I would hate to be a celebrity in an age where you can't even fucking breathe without someone crawling down your throat about what you've, what you've breathed. So, yeah. I couldn't be a celebrity, mate. I don't think I could deal with it. It's bad enough seeing you like fucking meets and shit. And people come up to you, you've got a YouTube. It's like, oh, oh no, here we go. But hey, I do enjoy it. I'm just taking the piss. And I appreciate everybody. But hopefully that this uh, this little adventure has given you a bit of a tickle on the todger. And I've got me milk now. I've got two litres. 
I accidentally got two wrong flavours, so I've got one that's like chocolate orange and fucking raspberry and white chocolate and I've got one that's some other concoction of banana and toffee or some shit, so I do like that place, we're going there for a while now and there's one up near my missus, it's called Caverswall Creamery which is... Mm, mm, that shit makes me fucking cream oh. But yeah, early in Harlan made that place famous and uh, everyone that I spoke to there and there's lads that I walked past, I don't know if you could actually hear just sort of said, oh, are you, are you any of you City fans? Because he plays for Manchester City and they were like, no, no, and I was like, alright, you play for the... Are you Scum fans? Which is what Leeds fans call uh, Man United. <clears throat> I said, are you Scummers? And they were like, yeah, we support Man United. I was like, alright, well, what would you do if you met him then? Would you, uh, would you be nice to him? Would you? And he's like, one of the lads said, uh, well, I'll get his autograph and then I'll just talk shit about him online. I was like, oh, yeah, standard. <laughs> and then there was another chap come in and I was like, hey, are you, uh, any of you into your football? <laughs> just trying to bring it up, see if, uh, if we get any, any more knowledge on his whereabouts and when he'd be here, if anyone's seen him. And, and uh, the ones that came in afterwards were Liverpool fans and they just beat us 6-1. So that was a fun conversation. So I'm going to go home now and I'm going to enjoy my two litres of milk. I don't, I'm not going to drink it all because I will fucking shit everywhere. I just thought as an impromptu, random video, <laughs> I thought, you know what, fuck it. Oh, fuck. But a very impromptu little video on a, on a Thursday evening where the weather has just been glorious and I've been wanting to get out. And my um, riddled and addled brain... Uh, decided that you know what let's go get some fucking milk and yeah the um talking to talking to the people there then everyone's gone and everyone's like yeah harland <laughs> harland's here been here it's like the amount of money that they've made just from him sitting on a fucking bench is insane <laughs> it's, it's amazing how that works isn't it eh? how, how a person just one person on a, on a planet of seven billion can can have such an impact and don't get me wrong I admire the guy he is an incredible footballer like insane what he's done this season but again in the grand I suppose that weed in the grand scheme of things it is one man kicking a ball well 22 men kicking a ball but that's not the point we love it for a reason don't we eh, football fans just down the road in Nutsford again I've spent a lot of time in Nutsford but just down the road in there it's a place called Gusto's and fucking Ronaldo Ron Dildo used to go in there and it was like the talk of the town so, oh Ronaldo and he he is one of the most arrogant pieces of fucking shit and I would never oh god the milk think of the milk and he apparently well I'm not just saying that because I don't like him because I think he's a fucking chauvinistic pig but I also have have it from people that have waited on him like literally people that I know that have waited on him that can also confirm he's a fucking chauvinistic piece of shit a self-centred wanker yes he's done stuff in football that's great but at the end of the day mate have some fucking humility that's why I'll take Messi over him every day <laughs> anyway I'm chatting shit in a minute I'm just excited to get some milk. You need some milk! I can't wait to get this thing tuned up and get an exhaust on it and all that shit because I just want to be able to hear it. I want to be able to hear that fucking... that engine more, you know? Because it is such... Oh, God. It is fucking cum-worthy, that motherfucking thing. Oh, God. The fucking potholes are opening up all over the place. Oh. Anyway, right. That's me, folks. You'll catch up with me tomorrow when I'm going to go get this bike serviced. Hello mate. Oh, that sounded nice. When I'm going to go get this bike service tomorrow at Wigan, um, I'll do a vlog on that. But until the next time, boys and girls, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you very, very soon, I'm sure. Uh, and until the next time, sort them out. I'll see you soon. Goodbye. Time for some milk.